Wanna be someone else a bit more in tune Wear something new for a day a bit less like you But I think you're perfect I wish you could see it too Hi guys and happy Saturday. We've had an amazing morning. I say morning, we didn't actually get up until about 11. We've had an amazing afternoon. We've been into town, had coffee and a cake. Cake wasn't all that great, looked amazing though. It was like brownie, I had brownie Jenna, I had carrot cake. Um, there was way too much sugar in them. It was just too sweet. We are back home now after buying, oh where is it? We thought we might want a hot drink while we're there. So, we bought a thermos flask, it was quite expensive. But it seems pretty substantial. So the question is, what hot drink are we going to have? I think we should have green tea. Jen, what do you think we should have? Mulled cider. Mulled cider? Well, no, I mean mulled cider. If it was Christmas, we're going to have mulled cider, but it's not. So, green tea. We're having green tea. Okay. We need to go and buy some garden chairs, though, because we can't get into our garage to get the ones that we've got, and they're quite cheap from the shop. So we're going to pick some of those up to give a nice, comfy, relaxing sit down for watching the fireworks, because the last thing I want to do is sit on the floor, because we've done that before, and it is painful. We've got to be there for about four hours at least. Four, seven? Yeah, about four hours, and, and I don't want anywhere other than a nice, comfy chair. Jen's also been packing an awesome looking picnic. I did not realize you bought all this stuff. <gasps> Caramel wafers. What the hell are you buying fake Jaff cakes for? I thought they had these the real Jaff cakes. Yeah. And the little teasers that I was trying to get off Jen from last night. And she's also got some stuff for sandwiches, I think. We've packed the car up with all our picnic stuff and we are off to go and see the fireworks. I'm pretty excited. I really love like getting ready to go somewhere. And I've been prepping this picnic all day. So it's kind of like been the front of my mind. Everything's been building up to heading out tonight. So I'm really looking forward to it. We have to get some petrol, we have to get some cash, and we have to go and get some chairs. Because we just bought the chairs, we're a bit concerned that we might get there and they're broken. So we're going to try them in the car park now, like the trash that we are. Come on, we've not got all day. I see you hide all the best of your way to be. You're just a shade of the way that you ought to be. safe and sound but we had to queue an awful lot longer than I expected yeah so I don't think it'd be so busy the fireworks aren't for another two hours it's packed there are way more cars around here than we were expecting it is so busy there's even a gen here wow who'd have thought I feel like I'm carrying everything but I'm not because Jen's got half the shit as well look she's carrying things she was carrying things I got the drink you got the drink and the chairs We found our spot, and that means it's time for dinner. I'm hungry. I hope it's enough food. But sandwiches first. You're gonna miss the fireworks. They're gonna start in a minute. I'm just gonna have to eat the Maltesers without you. You should see the size of the flame. It's huge. <laughs>
just got back in after the fireworks and it was amazing it was really really good I have never seen fireworks that good in this country before I had a really good night it did get really cold but luckily I'd got like a cardigan and a coat and wrapped my scarf around my knees and then we had a blanket and that was quite toasty warm in the end I am so relieved we took the thermos though because we kept like topping up on hot drinks and that kept us all nice inside. It was great. Setup of the show was that there were three main teams who each did their firework display to music and then at the end of the three teams we all had the opportunity to vote by text who our favourite was and then they announced the winner of the show and it sounded like they got a trophy at the end. But the, we voted for team three. Team three were amazing. They were called Shockwave. They were great display, they had the best timing to music, they had a great range of fireworks, they had some massive fireworks, it was fantastic. And they didn't win! They, we don't know what they came, they hope they came second at least. But the winners were team one, which were pretty good, I can't remember what they were called, they were from Northampton. But they weren't as good as Shockwave, Shockwave were the winners in my heart and I really know they didn't win. The event was hosted by a company called MLE Fireworks who did then like the big finale show and that was amazing. It was so big and it was like right above your head and the fireworks filled the whole sky. It was amazing. I had never seen that many fireworks. Like I always say that I think Disney's kind of ruined fireworks for me because they really are like real high production value fireworks. The stories and everything that Disney ones and they are great. Fireworks in this country are just never the same. But these ones came pretty damn close. The ticket price was quite expensive but I do think it was well worth it. It was a really good night and it was a long one too. It was a really really long show. By the time each one of the well there were four firework displays that were each ten minutes long so it was a good hour's worth of fireworks by the time they'd done demos at the beginning and it was really great. Anyway, as it is like seven minutes to one in the morning, I'm going to have a cup of tea and go to bed. Leave us a comment down below and let me know what your favourite firework display is. I need to know if there are any that really can beat these sort in the UK. Has anyone been to the firework championships? I think that would be an amazing night. Anyway. Leave us a comment down below and let me know where we need to go to see the best fireworks. Come back and see you tomorrow. Good night guys. Unfortunately my conversation with the kid on the till was all based around the fact that he was born in 1998. How old do I feel now? I went to high school in 1998 and he was born in 1998.